hello beautiful souls today is finally the day that I will be putting together the gift house box or the gift storefront box but I'm going to show you um, what you will receive and these are available on Tea Time and Dolls Etsy shop okay so this is the the base this is the box assembled I showed this in a previous video in another video of a project share okay so this is this part here okay um, that's what this part is it will have this part which gets glued down here there's two of these one on the outside and one for the inside and then this is the outside pocket that one right there okay and then these are the inside pockets right here I added this thing like so many times it wasn't even funny and I finally got you know the results that I wanted so and then these are you know layering elements like this here it does have uh, like a banner and then the two tags here and I do back this up with another uh, um, cardstock you know to make them sturdier because I do love sturdiness all right those elements here these are like a applique lace and this is the for the front you're going to have three different fronts this is one of them this is another one and then this is the the last one and then you will also have a back part which is that which is this part here and it's all connected everything is connected and then this part here is the inside so it looks finished in the inside as well it looks completed and finished okay um, yes and then there are going to be extra like if you you know whichever one you choose to print out which storefront you choose to print out this could be like a boutique or it could be like a house um, the back part and the and one of these front parts will have this extra piece here and that was because there was an empty space here and I didn't want to let it go to waste so I ended up adding this and this is what I've done with this this is a back topper so this was out of a brown paper a brown paper bag a paper bag and um, and I just covered it you know to make it more sturdy with uh, cardstock a decorative cardstock designer paper cardstock if you will and then you know I, just, I will just punch two holes here and do what I did with the, uh, with this you know just um, run some lace through there and, and make and tie it up okay so and this was also great for the ones that we put on on the um, on the clear plastics that we you know that we put embellishments in and it's pretty because you know there's a window to see through it and then you have this pretty element up here and then you can decorate this any way you want or you can leave it alone because it's pretty you know as is so those are the extras for that all right and then you will print this out once whichever one of these you choose you print it out once okay and of course you print that this out once because it's the back and then you print this out once because both pockets are in there for the inside of this All right so now for the big one which would be this one here it's just a bigger version of it and I originally did it when I first did it I did it where you know it does have a gusset and it's closed in and it's like this but what I like about this is is that you can make a score line here um, like I did here and of course you cut these parts you know in half you will cut this in half so that it doesn't obstruct 
the score line and then it will actually close flat like this and you can put it in a in a bubble mailer envelope the ones that um, the USPS carries that that are only eight dollars this one actually fits in the eight dollar bubble mailer so you can do that as well slit this in half uh, slit it oh my goodness score it in half and then you know fold it in so that it can fit in the in that eight dollar bubble mail and then you're not you know spending it's not like a lot of expense on you okay so this is pretty much assembled the same way that's why i'm only going to do the small one on camera and look there is a difference this one is a lot bigger this one is miniature which i love and that's the inside. The only difference here is that, of course, uh, this gets cut, cut out in the middle. This doesn't. And this is like one entire piece here, as you saw in the small one. This one is two pieces because this is much bigger. So it wouldn't, you know, I wanted to fit two of these on one page. Um... And it wouldn't fit with this part on it. So you would glue this first and then you glue this on top. Okay. All right, let's get these out the way. So this is the base. And it, it's in, the base is in two parts because obviously, you know, this is much smaller. So this would fit in the whole eight and a half by 11 sheet of um, paper, uh, cardstock. Um, so you would just, you know, cut it out and then glue this part to this part here okay I would actually glue it on the top glue this part to this part here and then these these are all the scoring lines which you will see when I assemble that so <coughs> excuse me so these are the elements you know to the layering piece and then here are the um, these are the four different front so you already saw this one you saw that one this one it could be like a little boutique and then you have the house front and then the bakery and then the tea room okay and then you will also have Oh, that's not in here. Hold on. Okay. Then you will have the back. Um, and then the layering pieces would be, of course, these. Like I said, this gets glued to the inside with, with this part. This is the back pocket. So you will print this out once, print this out once. You will only get one of these, but you print this out twice because those are the inside pockets, as you can see here. You, you would, you know, you print it out twice, okay? All right, and then for the last digital, and these are going to be separate files. The small one and the big one are two separate, you know, files. You will purchase them individually and then this this last one will be purchased individually as well and these get these are embellishments they could be tags um these are the layering pieces for you know to make it dimensional these are the fronts the only one that doesn't have a layering piece is the house but all of these have it and there are um there's duplicates here and here and here actually there's three of these you know because I wanted to fill the page and then this is the roof for layering here the rest of the roofs and then this is the silhouette to back it up to make it sturdier like this and then as you can see it is dimensional and then I added a bonus I wanted to add one like this where you can actually punch a hole to make a tag um, this looks like you know the big version of the um, gift box and here are the layering pieces at first I didn't do layering pieces and then he said well let me do it too so it can be sturdy 
Um, these could be laminated as well. I love laminating them as well. Okay, so I will show you how I put this together first and then I will show you how to put this one together first okay and then and the embellishing will be left up to you and the closure will be left up to you so you decide how you want to close it I just added I punched two one hole here here and here and I just weaved in some lace as you can see there okay so here I'm already prepared and this this is a no-brainer <laughs> it really is a no-brainer I'm just gonna glue this to the base here and as you can see there is a border Now, um, you can either put chipboard back here to give it dimension. I'm going to use dimensional tape. Okay, so there's your dimension already, and it's solid. And you can either glue this flat or add dimension. I'm going to add dimension again. And that's, that's it to it, and then you just embellish it the way you want to embellish it. As you saw in the picture, that's how I embellished it okay that was real fast right um the tedious part of course will be the fussy cutting but that even goes pretty fast and then you you know you just do the same thing with the the tag you you just layer this piece to that an embellishment and embellish it and you're done with it or you can add these elements on it instead it's up to you okay so that's it for that. Now we're going to embellish um, one of the house boxes. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to score these lines. So wherever you see these brown lines, that's what you're actually going to score. So you have this one here. You're going to line it up. You're going to score there. there and you turn this around and you will score on these lines okay and then the same thing with these you're going to score that line there's no brown lines here because you have this um, decorative image there so you're going to score right where it ends where the uh, decorative image ends you're going to score all along those lines this one you will score again along the lines where the decorative image ends and then you're going to score on the brown lines here okay so once we've done that, I like to distress um, these parts. So I'm going to use a tea dye. And I will go ahead and fold along those lines so I can distress that. Okay, and I'm only going to distress these parts here. I will not be distressing these at all. Okay? Okay. 
okay so I've done that I will go ahead and do that to these as well I will fold these and do the same thing with this one I'm gonna fold these and then I'm gonna distress all around these edges as well and the top and this one on the top as well and I'm gonna do that to this one too so I've done all the distressing here I also want to mention that if you don't want to cut out the scallop here you can just cut it off straight across that's another option okay well I like the scallop because I do love detail so I'm going to leave that on there so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to do this back I'm gonna glue on this back piece first because this actually wraps like this and then you glue this in place and I'm gonna do this first because I tend to forget stuff when I'm on camera um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add and I like to glue this part on the outside or on top of these fold edges there so that way nothing gets caught because if it's here something might get caught there as you're you know putting something in so I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here and there let this set for a moment Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and slide this in and you will be doing this to the big one as well to the big gift box it's so much easier and I'm not going to glue I'm, I'm not gluing this to this at all okay and that gives it a nice pocket here and it's not you know it's you can fit something that's a little bit thicker in there okay so I'm gonna go ahead and add glue I'm gonna add glue to the very edge on the top but not on the sides because it does this doesn't cover the whole back it gives it a little bit of a um, What you call it it leaves a little bit of an edge there which I like okay so I didn't glue it all the way to the bottom either I mean I glued all the way to the bottom okay so as you can see here it does have a little bit of an edge Okay. and these parts I will glue down flat against here because that makes these corners um, strong this edge stronger and it gives it a finished look okay so at this point remember I said see I almost forgot I should have did that first before I glued this part down I forgot okay at this point this is where I would add um, a score line I have no idea what the middle of this is for those of you who've been, been following me you already know I, I don't do fractions I'm illiterate when it comes to fractions literally so I'm going to find the center to this. Um, yes, I'm eyeballing it because I don't know what the center is there. All right. And I'm going to fold it this way. 
that is completely off. Like, okay, I'm just going to fold it. And that's my center. Well, it worked. So, those of you that knows how to how to do the fractions there, you will find your center, okay? And that way it folds. This is what I mean. So now it collapses. Okay, so if you want to ship it in a bubble envelope, you can. And there you see how it aligns so it is mirror this part here is mirrored imaged so that it aligns really nicely there okay these are great for party favors I would like to make this a little bit sturdier so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna split one of these in half actually And since I left the border, you know, this is smaller than this um, area here, I can move it over a little bit so that it doesn't obstruct the score line here and it's, it can easily open and close. And I'm going to do that to the underside as well, just to give it a nice finished look. Okay, so here I've already I've done the underside, so that makes it a lot more sturdier. But it still bend, it still bends without any obstruction to the scoring line there. Okay, and it'll still stand up too. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do, uh, which we're almost done actually is okay so we're gonna I'm gonna bend all these parts so these parts just gets bend you bend this this way you bend this that um, this way and then you bend this this way like an accordion okay and this is the part that gets glued to here so that's all we're doing here see So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And I'm going to glue, I'm, I do the bottom first. Okay. And you do not want to glue this too close to here. As a matter of fact, I, I actually glue it about an eighth, in a, an eighth of an inch away from the score line. And then I want to make sure this is going to align here see it's too far this way so I'm gonna move it over I'm gonna shift it make sure you're using a glue that you have time to move things around okay so there um, and you're gonna do that the same thing you did here, you're going to do it here. And you can see this is quite a bit away. Hold on. This is almost a quarter of an inch away, which is fine because in that it, <coughs> it, excuse me, it, it, um, it closes nicely. See? See what I'm saying? If you have put this too far down, that's going to be a problem to close.
All right, now I'm going to do this. So I'm not going to do this side because it's whatever I do here gets done here. All right, so the last thing is this. Then you glue this in place. This doesn't go there. So I'm pretty sure this one goes here. Yeah, there it goes. So you got to find which one of these goes to where... Um, because they do line up so find the one that lines up see that one lines up there okay so I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down and I don't have to cut a hole here like the big one okay so this is a no-brainer project this comes together pretty quickly Okay, there you have it. And then it's just a matter of embellishing it the way that you want. So you, you do the same thing to this side. You, do, you put that there as well. And that's the back, that's the front. And then these are, I do back these up. Um, I glue this on um, cardstock. And then I cut around that, around it, and these are mirror image, so you can have both sides. These little banners, and again, these are also mirror imaged, so you can do something like this. Look how pretty that is. I'm sure you guys are going to find different ways of putting this together. And then here's another tag, so I just layer them up, you know, really pretty. You can just do one and one like that. It's up to you. So that's pretty much it. So that's and and like I said, for the big one, of course you you know have these parts separate, and you will glue this part first, and then you will glue this part on top of that part for the big gift box and then you will have a pretty finished gift box like this okay and then for the flower I do have a tutorial on how I put flowers together so I will link that in the description box below um, that will be monotonous to do it again when I already have a tutorial but this is how I put this one together I did distress it on the on the edges with um, with ink um, it's called Tattered Rose. And then, of course, I'm going to put something in the center here. And then you can just, you know, put this somewhere on your box. That would be so pretty. So pretty. You can make it as fancy or as, um, you know, people say less is more. And for me, that's not always the case. But... Um, you can decorate it as, as elaborate as you want or keep it, you know, like that. It's up to you. You know, it's pretty much up to you. Okay. Okay, so these are available on Tea Time and Dolls at Sea Shop. So you can purchase them there. The small one is separate from the big one. So those are two separate files. So thank you, everybody, for your great support on Tea Time and Dolls at Sea Shop and for Tea Time and Dolls YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your positive energy. So with that being said, let's share, be fair, be filled with love, and love one another. Take good care, everybody.